One of my favorite aspects of the Xenomorph Alien is its variation. The sheer amount of forms and styles that these creatures can assume is only limited by their environments and hosts. So today, I thought we could take a look at all the aspects of the Alien series, the comic books, the video games, and the toys to find 10 amazing Xenomorph variants from the extended universe. The Palatine Translated from Latin meaning Imperial or Imperial Officer is a fitting name for this Xeno variant. Said to be the most violent strain of the Xenomorph species, tasked with perhaps the most important job for any Xenomorph, they have but one goal in life. Protect the Xenomorph Queen Mother, the supreme ruler of all of the aliens. This creature is likely an offshoot of the Praetorians, except these are known for their long horns, pointed heads, and slender bodies. And while we're on the subject, next up is the Queen Mother herself. She is said to be the supreme ruler of the entire Xenomorph species throughout the universe. It's even been noted that they can communicate telepathically with both humans and aliens alike over vast distances. This queen is thought to reside on Xenomorph Prime, the homeworld of the alien species, and from her depiction in Aliens Genocide, either one, the red or the black variant, were much, much larger than your standard Queen Xenomorph. Next up, the Praetorian Xenomorph. They would also be defensive guards in the hive, but they would protect the more standard alien queens. Standing at over 10 feet tall, this royal guard would even share a similar head crest with the queens that they protect. What makes the Praetorians stand out from other Xenomorph species is the fact that they are said to be pure born, meaning they don't utilize genes from their host, and they take their standard form regardless of the host body. The Hive Warrior likely the next line of hive defense below the Praetorian. These aliens are somewhat larger than their normal Xeno cousins, yet they come in a larger color palette. The hive warriors have been seen as black, brown, blue and purple, as well as different shades of green. They're stronger than your standard alien and can take much more damage. It's been speculated that the hive warriors are simply aged aliens, yet we need more information to know if this is true or if they are yet another variant. The Ravager Xenomorph When the alien species is at war with another hive or another species such as mankind or the predators, they will create a specialized breed designed for warfare. These are the Ravagers. Evolved from the Praetorians, these tanks would grow diamond sharp blades in place of their fingers capable of breaching titanium armor. They would attack their prey in such a rage that they would often decapitate their enemies going against their species need for hosts. Coming from the Aliens toy line in the 90s, we have the Flying Queens. These were said to have been made by Weyland Yutani using a genetic mutation. Does it make much sense? No, it doesn't have to. It's a toy. Either way, to me the idea of an alien queen with wings is both awesome and terrifying and it belongs on the list. Sticking with the toy line, I also want to take a quick look at the Scorpion Alien. In the novel for Aliens, Gorman was stung on the head by an alien from its tail. I can't help but wonder if that wasn't the inspiration for the scorpion alien. This xenomorph was said to have been created by the altering of a large scorpion-like species, resulting in an alien with extra armor that gives it a defensive advantage over your standard xenomorph. They are a bronze golden color with spikes along the ridge of their heads. They're missing the trademark inner jaw, but their larger than normal mouth and teeth make up for the loss. In a strange twist as a defensive measure, these aliens can self-explode, sending acid out onto their attackers. Next up may be one of my favorite variants on the alien, or at least a different take on it. This is the Jock Xenomorph, the result of an original space jockey, not an engineer, but a malacac from the comics that has been impregnated by a xenomorph facehugger. This alien would be much taller than a standard human-born alien because of its larger host, and it would reach its adult stage much sooner than normal. We would see a similar alien in the Ultramorph, a concept that went unused and was later replaced with the Deacon for Prometheus. From the Aliens Colonial Marines video game universe comes the Raven. Even though the game wasn't very well received, I actually enjoyed the different Xenomorph variants that it introduced. The Raven is larger than a standard Xenomorph, almost as tall as a Praetorian, yet not quite as bulky. Other than its bigger scale, the alien also had a row of spines on the ridge of its head along with a scarred faceplate showing a human-like skull which sits beneath it. 
It's not known if their existence is natural, an experiment by Weyland yutani or the result of radiation from the explosion of Hadley's Hope. And last but not least, we have the crocodile alien from the Batman Aliens comic. This sounds like just another one of the animal alien hybrids from the 90s alien toy lineup, but for some unknown reason, this thing was way bigger than it should have been. Just imagine the deadly traits of a crocodile and a runner xenomorph, only 10 times bigger, faster, and deadlier. And that's it for today, guys. What are some of your favorite xenomorphs from the extended alien universe? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments.